Two, two boxes. Wait, I'm excited about both of these. I know. I'm so sorry, buddy. I did it, I did it, I did it. I figured it out. I know the answer, and Jeremy does it. <laughs> Two pieces on dirty. How does that even happen? What do you got your backpack on for? For the trip. What trip? I don't know it. We going on a field trip today? Yeah. So today we are going on our first field trip of the homeschool year and since we've been studying Oregon trails so much We found out that there's actually a National Trails Museum right here in the Kansas City area So we're going there to check it out Well, we drove out here to where we're doing the field trip and Caleb just isn't feeling very well we're not sure what's going on. So he has no fever. He ate well this morning. He did his chores and was running around and then all of a sudden he's not feeling good. So we'll have to see how long this field trip lasts. We might have to cut it short. Um, Is it a squirrel? It's a big squirrel. That one's called a beaver. Here's Independence, and then here's where the trails went from there. It could come down here to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Little cub is not feeling good. I'm so sorry, buddy. Well, this isn't exactly going as planned. The museum is lovely, but Jeremy is with Caleb in the restroom, which means I've got all the other kids, and this little peanut is excited to not hold still or cooperate. This is one of those moments as a mom when you're like, do we just bail? Do we just say, you know what? We'll do this another day. Let's go on. Or do we push through? Okay, here's the rules. You guys get to fill up your wagon, packing it with what you think you need, and then you're gonna see if it's too heavy. If they go over the weight limit, this light will turn red. Rice is good. Load up the wagon. Dried apples or dry peaches? We need a lot of flour. You, we'll need two things of water. Let's see what happens. Red and orange. Yeah, we don't need that. Oh, yes. It's just because it's too heavy. We need to take out a few things, like one bedroll. Um, where's the canteen oil? That's gunpowder, we need that. Yeah, we need gunpowder. It's still um, on. It's off! I think this is good enough. All right, so they used all the parts of a buffalo when they shot and killed a buffalo. These were buffalo bladders. And it said buffalo bladders like this one often became canteens for water. What are buffalo bladders? It's the part of the buffalo that holds their pee. Is it, is it buffalo poop? Um, buffalo poop they use to cook. Make it to the gold fields but die in an accident. What's he gonna get? Oh, you found gold but lost it all. You gambling. and Elise did it together. <laughs> Janae loves it. Janae likes the toy. Okay, this one will be for Dad. What's gonna happen to me? Oh. What happened? You found gold, but just enough to meet expenses. Guys, I'm our last chance. Wait, where is there one on here where you can get yeah, it? You get filthy rich. Filthy rich. Can mom do it? Miners stole it. Oh, what happened to Janae? California Gold Rush was not good for our family. <laughs> Ooh, the 
10 years of age. Do we want the mule or the oxen? Oxen. oxen. Well, let's listen to the pros and cons. So for the mules, they pull faster than oxen. They can be trained in a short time. They're stronger. They ate less than horses. There we go. Isaac Ferrer, the ox. All right, Elise, mule or ox? But these eat less. So all the boys voted for ox and all the girls voted for mules. I want to get there fast. That was my primary motivation. So this is a very famous picture. They're shaking hands because they're connecting one side of the country's railroad with the other side of the country's railroad. So that now people could go straight across. These are buffalo chip. <laughs> so the gift shop has buffalo chip frisbees. I didn't realize they were frisbees, that's awesome. I'm glad Caleb seems to be feeling better. We're getting ready to go on a wagon ride. We're just waiting for the wagon to get here. <laughs> I'm going to die. Are we going to die on the wagon? Nope, this one's just for fun. This one's just a little short ride. Like, we're just going to go around the town a little bit so we can see what it feels like to be in a wagon. Yep. Oh, goody. This is the original motor home right here, Union. Come on up here so I can tell you it's all tail. Wagon truck. Yeah, yeah. Are we going fast? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. This is right where the wagon is going. What do you want to do when you grow up? I don't know don't yet. Don't know yet? Well, you gotta find a dream. You know why you do? One, one time, one time I had a scary dream. Did you have a scary dream? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, they're not talking about those kinds. <laughs> you gotta find a dream because without a dream, nobody can help you. Children, you gotta find something you're passionate about or called to and go after it. That is what made our nation great. People that followed their dreams. You guys see that the mules have diapers? They have poop bags. Yeah, those, those are actually the, where I keep my M&M. One, two, three. Oh, there it comes. It's going faster. We're going through another tunnel. Here we go. So do you guys see these? These are telegraphs. Now let me show you how one works. See, this one's hooked up, and they used to send messages. They didn't have telephones back in those days. Yeah. One after another, the laden wagons rolled from the crowded square. We're headed out to try to find the real wagon rut. They're called wagon swales because they've been grassed over, but they're supposed to be right here on this property. I don't know why that's so cool to me. It's just crazy to think that 170 years ago, what was happening right here. Basically, I'm a history nerd. I'm amazed with how fast our technology is changing. Like, I think it's really important for our kids to see what happened and to learn the lessons from history. Like, we shouldn't forget. We should remember these things and, and things learn from them. Things shaped our country. Yeah. In and out of town, the heavy and continuous wagon traffic left its mark. So right there is where the wagon wagon! So on the way home, we found this park that we wanted to stop at and play with the kids. recognize the song. Elise likes to feed Janae, and Janae likes to be fed by Elise. That's it! 
So we're eating lunch as a family and we're playing Scrabble that is on the back of our Cheez-It box. So check it out, these words are scrambled up and we figured out all of them except for the first one and we cannot figure it out. It's funny when I got the ones on the bottom, it's like you feel so accomplished. You're like, yeah, I figured it out and then I can't figure out the top one. I'm like, oh. any luck boys? I think Did we crack the code? Rotator. Rotator. Okay, so what's this one? Toy, boat, jump, play. Um, Jeremy and I both know this one. The boys haven't figured it out yet. But Jeremy and I cannot figure out this one. What is it? Do you guys like word games like this? I really enjoy them until they drive me crazy because I can't figure them out. Jeremy's getting serious about this. It's weird that there's just a U and an E. This is rough. <laughs> we're gonna, I gotta figure this out. Oh man, we're gonna feel so silly when we discover it because it can't be that hard of a word. It's on a Scrabble Junior box. <laughs> I, did I did it, I did it, I figured it out. I know the answer. And Jeremy does it. <laughs> I literally was like screaming and jumping up and down when all of a sudden I saw it. I'm like, ah, I know the word! Looter? <laughs> and like butter, but with an L. <laughs> There's two T's, an R and an L. Ugh. This is hard, huh? <laughs> <laughs> So I don't even, I only have to feel the shame. <laughs> What's the word? Turtle. 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 Kendra, did you see what just arrived? Two, two boxes. Wait, I'm excited about both of these. I know. This is the best mail day ever. Yep. Okay, so one of those is going to be our new bench that is going to change our kitchen table. It's true. I'm so excited. And the other one is my stitch pick. Yeah. Which, you guys don't know what that is. This is a box of new clothes from mom. Not sponsored. Not sponsored at all. I'm just excited to try it. New clothes without shopping, I'm in. Caleb, I have some bad news. We have to build the bench. It doesn't come already put together, so we're we gonna need to someone who can build it. Put it together for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How tall is it? It's like the right size for a bench. To go to our table, our kitchen table. No, so we were considering getting a new kitchen table because now we have more than six of us in the family. But then we realized we could just get a bench. Kendra found a bench for like $58 or $60. Yeah. Oh my. Problem solved. Yeah. So now we can have three oh, kids sitting on the bench and help it. It's funny the things you get excited about when you're a mom. Like, I'm so excited about this kitchen bench. Woo! What are we having for dinner? Pancakes. So last month I got into a bad habit of us eating out more. I just was having a hard time with meal planning and grocery shopping and it just felt easier and simpler. But I'm working really hard on that. And so I've been trying really hard to plan ahead but I don't always do that. So I also have some backup super fast meals that I just know if I forget to plan ahead I can do last minute, like tonight. So we're doing pancakes. Which I know is not super healthy or an amazing dinner at all but it works and I can get it on the table in like 15 minutes and my kids actually eat it really well. So pancakes for dinner it is. So when I'm feeding a lot of the kids something like pancakes or waffles or anything that takes individual preparation for each one, I tend to just use a Tupperware, rip it all up, stick the syrup and peanut butter or whatever I want inside the Tupperware, shake it up, and then it's ready to go for everyone all at once. Is it good? So during Janae's nap, I opened my Stitch Fix box and I tried on the clothes that came in it and while I really like some pieces, other pieces are just okay and overall, they were just all much pricier than the clothes that I usually buy. So I'm glad I tried it. I'm definitely gonna try it again, but I don't know if this is gonna be a long-term solution for me just because of how cheap I am about clothes. Lisa, you getting ready for ballet? Yeah. Good night. Yes. Good morning friends. Three years ago today, September 18th, 2014 was the first time we ever posted a J House vlog. So I'm going to put in the description box some of our favorite vlogs over the years and I'm going to start today's video with our original intro.